Okay, here we go again. A little bit of tidy up before we proceed to the other parts. All right, so let's see. Put images back on. Actually, let's also make sure screen keys are on because it decided to turn the cells off. Hide that for now. Okay. Right. I can see this seems to like go in slightly, so. Slide that by a little. Okay. And also, if we can just highlight that edge there. Put a one on that. Same on that edge there. Alt left click. Put edge on there. There we go. That sharpens them off nicely. And. quickly do that with this one as well. I think that's on the other side, isn't it? There we go, all those three edges. So Alt, oops, Alt, left click, Alt, Shift, left click, Alt, Shift, left click again for that one, put a one on that one. There we go. Right, first of all, we need to move these up to here. So Highlight that edge and then extrude E and Y, extrude that to there, there we go. And since we'll be working mainly on the right hand side, we'll do a quick right click, mirror back to X. See how these line up here, but not here. This discrepancy is very annoying. Right, so we'll also put those two on or one. There we go. And let's line them up a little better. GG. And slide them down a bit. There we go. Okay, right. Actually, let's check how high this is here. So on there. There we go. You see this needs to be moved up. And highlight the middle one, do a scale on the Z and zero and enter. Go to three. There we go. This also needs a same. If we can in fact if I just highlight these, see we just bring these up so these basically line up here. There we go. Same with this one, creating them lovely curves again. Zoom in there, and just raise those a little also. Again, just tidying up, make that curve look good. if we can click left click on the top one there and control left click on this one I'll just do a scale on Z and move slightly and there we go that lines up there nicely again I think these maybe need a little move up also keep the curve each time Oops. There we go. Right, see how that is. Looks good. That's this here. Right, we could leave that as in it's a dent in the hood, or we could just simply where is it? There it is. So just left click. So Alt and left click to highlight that edge. Uh, we could just raise that up a little bit. I 
thing is the car's not just came out the factory has it so might be okay to have that little odd odd <laughs> odd discrepancy in there okay all right so next bit I need to bring this edge up here also to match this let's get my images where are you where are you there you are right there we go we see how that raises slightly at the back of the hood i think that's called wayback cow or something like that and so that raises up slightly so does the back of the fender there so right so then it goes right around to here so highlight this and this control and left click to highlight all of those and three for side view and e to extrude just pull that back to there line that up highlight that one and then if we can make sure we're still on the vertex yes and con with that highlighted Press control and that should snap to there. There we go. Just line these up slightly better. Let's lift these up. Oops. Alright, see how that's disappeared there now. I'll finally get to be able to do this bit. So we've done where it is, so press full stop on the keypad. There we go, zooms into it. Then it rotates around it. Right, so I can see we're going to need another edge in here. So this follows that curve. Right, we'll put that in a second. Right, so we'll just highlight them too. Slide them down. Keep them that curve again. And we shall control R. Just over this edge here. Left click, drop it. With a right click and then just slide those down again. There we go. So now, actually what we can do also is we'll highlight that, so this will highlight this edge around here. Drop the one crease on that. Same with that again, highlight that whole edge. One on that one, one on that one. And the outside edge also. One. A bit of tidy up. Keep them nice and curvy. There we go. Alt Z to get out of X ray. <coughs> it's more of a gentle curve looking at that one, really, isn't it? So. What we'll do is we'll put one in there also. Actually, is there not one in that one there first of all? Actually, what we can do here is edit two objects at the same time. So we'll drag a box around them, tab. We also want one in there also. Right click to drop that where it is. And with that already highlighted, so if you press Alt, Oops, Alt and Shift, select that one, and then we'll just slide it down just to create a bit, bit of a nicer curve there. This seems a bit severe, this one here. Alright, so if we can drag a box around these and these, and just slide them forward again, creating that curve. Undo, undo, just drag it around all of them and slide them down instead. Sorry. All right. Odd Z out X ray, tab out of edit. There we go, that looks pretty good. Is that maybe a little high to think? Yeah. Right, so, Odd Z X ray, highlight them, 
put a three. Oh yeah, it is quite high, isn't it? How can we do this? Let's think. All right, all of those. And then if we can left click, so it's in the center there. Yes, make sure. And three. Then if we rotate on the X, see, so that, if we rotate X, that's gonna slide this down. So we'll rotate X. And if we can just kind of gently line that up with this edge here, that seems a little high. There we go. This looks a little rough still, doesn't it? A little bit tidy up here again. The joy of modeling. Drag them verts. Try to stay awake. <laughs> okay. And I unput my timer on, so I've no idea how far I'm into this video. Right, that edge was needed for that ridge in the middle of the hood, wasn't it? So we'll leave that one there still. Right, just in case, so we'll do a quick check of that. Yeah, that looks pretty good there now, isn't it? Wondering if that maybe needs a little flattened off there though. Right, so there were nothing selected. Uh, Alt Z. Right, so Alt left click on that one again. Alt left click. Sorry, Alt Shift left click. And we'll just slay that down a little bit more just to make that curve a little nicer. There we go, and I'll just do a quick save. Uh, Control S, don't forget to save. So I've heard a few of you had a few crashes, which is really annoying, as you understand now. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, uh, so let's think what we're going to do. Here we go. Highlight the fender. Three in the tab. Actually, I know it's not necessary, but we'll just do these also. Highlight all of them. So Alt, oops, Alt left click, Shift, Alt left click, and the same again. And we'll just drop a one on there. There we go. We need some adjustments done to this eventually, so we will get back to this. Of course, we do need the the new front end on here for the interceptor max car okay so this looks like it might need to be a little higher up to be fair slide them back a little actually let's see this here highlight them too Yeah, just lift that up a bit. Yep, make sure that one's selected. Three, and just raise that a little also. That's better. Okay. Hmm, that means we could. Let's have a look at this image here. The door starts at the same height as this part here, doesn't it? So, oh, that's going to be fun. That will have to. So those edges that will be added in to create this will have to spread out to hide that later on. So we'll create the door first. And drop that back over there. I don't think this needs to be further down. So I'm 
left click on that one, control left click on the far one, rotate X and drop it down a bit more. And then if you scale back on the Y. Yeah, that still looks good. Okay, minus three. So this image, as usual, looks slightly different to the car. So, so, Alt, left click, and now we just need to extrude these all the way back. If we do a halfway along first, so extrude Y slightly along. Okay, so left click top one and that middle one. Oh, of course this this mid body line seems to rise in the centre, doesn't it? Very strange. Okay, so move all of them up. Scale Z so that will pull those down again. There we go. And if you just move them up. Like so. I would prefer them to be all flat to be fair, so I'll hit that edge again. Scale S Y for direction. Zero on keypad and enter. There we go. Just making sure these edges are pretty much lined up here. Oh, lined up with that paintwork for some strange reason. Just drop it down a little, slide it down. There we go, GG. This doesn't need to be creased, so put that crease to zero. And if we slide this back again, if we slide it back to here where it starts to rise, so then that will give us this little angle. So extrude E Y for direction to there, I would think. And let's have a check in the top view seven. It starts to get wider now, doesn't it? So if we slide out on the X a little. And don't let these confuse you. This is under the car. So the sill. Or whatever it's called in Australia. Or America. Uh, let's see. This again. Needs to rise a little. Alright then. Move them up. Uh, do another extrude Y, bring that to there, and now we we'll just basically need to line these up. So, in fact, if we just highlight them top of the edge, uh, shift and left click on that one, and then scale Z again, and then just move it up ever so slightly so that's in line with that, and then slide these back. And there we go. Uh, I'll tell you what. Alt, left click on there again. Seven for top view. Yes, yeah, so it goes out a little wider again, doesn't it? Oh, do you see that from the side? It, did, oh, it does look quite severe there, actually, doesn't it? There we go, just laying that one a bit better, a bit better, okay. Alright, so, highlight that, control, left click, the top one, should done the other way around, sorry, so, top one, control to the seven, it needs to move back slightly, so scale, S on the X. Do the same with this one. Control, left click, back to the top, and just scale it a little X again, just to keep it lined up. There we go. 
Okay, I'm loading these ones up now. Goes this edge. Hide these images a second. Highlight that one in the middle of the door. And this control left click at the back one. And then GG. We'll slide these out a little. Oops. Did. Ah. Right, so. Bottom of the door, control left click on that one, GG. Put it up midway, same again, midway, middle of the door even. Control left click, GG, slide again. There we go. I don't really like that to be fair. Slide these down, slide out them all. In fact, what we could do is we'll highlight them, the door, right click, space, same again, highlight them four, right click, space, and the last four, right click, space. course just need to move them up a bit because if I look here again it kind of blends into the door yes okay Left click the back one, control left click that one, and we'll just level these off. These look like they need moved up a little to keep that curve. Just highlight that one so we'll rotate on the other side. Stop the on the keypad to zoom in. And we just need to move that up there. There we go. That ah, looks better. And since that's the back of the door, we'll highlight left click. Uh, so you alt left click and then shift alt left click for that one. Same at the bottom. Shift up, left up. <laughs> shift alt left click. I've decreased to one. Three, let's have a quick check with images on. That will be the bottom of the door there, but we shall leave it like that for now. Uh, highlight that. I see this is need the scale. Up. Sorry, set that one. Control bottom one. And scale Z. And then scale Y, just so it keeps that okay, there we go lovely, scale Z just to bring it back a little more we'll do left click the top one control middle and scale Z, just to keep that curve going there we go and there we go I think that is the door so Alt, left click, then Control and Plus on the keypad. Increase the selection, same again, and one more. Here's the door. P to separate, selection, tap the drop out, highlight your door, F2, rename. We'll call it, hmm, maybe it's door. 
or if it's called something different in Australia, let me know. <laughs> okay. That done. It's control save or control S and save. And I'll be back in a minute or two. <laughs> 